I can remember doing a lot of work, arresting a lot of people, being proud of that work, prouder than any other work that I've done, and having a feeling of pushing sand against the tide. For every one we took off the street, three would replace them, and feeling genuine um, remorse for the user, who was clearly in a life and death struggle with themselves and clearly had no choice, even back then when we didn't talk about treatment as an option that police should provide. But law enforcement in general sees people in times of desperation, in times of crisis, and in that way it was a natural fit for us to come up with some different ideas of, of to how to approach this problem. You know, you can throw a rock from just about anywhere in Gloucester, from the high-end communities down to housing communities and hit someone who's been uh, affected by addiction in some way. But we hear from a lot of people that it's not the facility you go to, it's the fact that you had a police department that wasn't your family, so it had no emotional investment in you. Certainly the last place you'd look for help, but believed in you. And we do tend to send the message to people that, you know, this is the last recovery you'll ever have to go through. Whether you get through this first time or you relapse, you can come back to us and we're not going to judge you, we're just going to place you back in treatment.